Hello there! Konnachiwa everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can surprise your master with a little chocolate trick. The ingredients you need are 160 grams of flour, 110 grams of chocolate powder, 120 grams of sugar, baking powder and vanilla sugar. To add a little bit of hint of vanilla, even though she's not here. And a little hint of salt to go against the sweetness, or to embrace the sweetness. For the wet ingredients you need 2 eggs, 130 grams of butter, it's best to have it liquid or like heated, so we'll put that in the microwave. And last but not least, 220 grams of yogurt. And that's about it for the dough. So for the filament, of course I want to put some chocolate cream inside. You need the chocolate cream of your choice. And well, of course, because we're going to make cupcakes, I didn't tell you before, we're going to make cupcakes. And you need cupcake paper, like your bowls. And you don't forget about the most important part, the decorations. So we are going to make melt some chocolate and some, I don't know what they're called in English, colorful decorations. We will start off by preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. You can find the step-by-step -step recipe and my source where I found the recipe down in the description below. So after we've preheated the oven, we are going to start mixing the dry ingredients inside a bowl. We have three teaspoons of baking powder. To add a tiny vanilla note, we add one pack of vanilla sugar. And last but not least, for the dry ingredients, we add a little pinch of salt. Just a little tiny bit. I'm using a spoon to mix the dry ingredients in the bowl. Looks so pretty. We are now done with all the dry ingredients, so we can put it to the side again. We now put all the wet ingredients into a second bowl. We start off with the butter. The prettiest butter knife there is. We need the butter to be liquid, so we're putting it for a few seconds into the microwave. I'm actually scared that this bowl might be not okay to go in the microwave, so I'm putting it into a different bowl. Just a few seconds, okay? I love it so much. Yes. I'm going to let the butter cool down a little because it's hotter than I expected. But until then, we can put the other ingredients into the bowl, which are two eggs and the yogurt. No one saw that. I'm not wearing glasses. Leave me alone. <laughs> you might think it's weird to add some yogurt into a cupcake recipe, but in my opinion it really helps to make them a little more juicy and a little more fluffy, so I really love that recipe. I'm adding a new butter. So we're now mixing it up until it gets a little more fluffy. You could also use a mixer, but I prefer to do it by hand because I don't want to get too many tools dirty. I think it's fluffy enough if a few bubbles appear. So now we can add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And you're going to stir it very strongly, but not very long. So keep it short, but intense. The 
if the dough is a little too dry, you can also try to add some yogurt to it. I think I'm adding some more yogurt. Well, this isn't really going according to plan. It's way too thick to protect myself. The recipe I chose is like a base recipe and I changed it up to make chocolate cupcakes from it. It worked before, but I never remembered the amount of chocolate powder you need to put inside and I always kind of improvise. So to go against it being way too thick, I'm adding a little milk because that probably is better at making it liquid than a yogurt. So let's see how it works. Now we are talking. Kinda. It's still a little thick, but I think it's okay. My chocolate cupcakes always turn out a little more thick. Short, but intense. So now, we just put the dough in onto a mold. And with a spoon, we fill them up to about two thirds. It's very chocolatey, oh my god. <laughs> So it was very thick. Normally you want it to be a little thinner than this, but I think it should work. It might be not as fluffy as the original recipe, but I think that will be very chocolatey. It's still very tasty. I mean, it's just the consistency. It will be a little thicker. I mean, the color is very dark. If you burn them, we probably won't notice. <laughs> That's smart. Well, I made them a little fuller than two thirds because we got a lot of dough and I want to get rid of it. Well, I want to use all of it. I also tried to press down the dough a little bit and to move it into the corners because that way they might go up a little more but actually I'm not really sure if it works. I did it all the time and it didn't make much of a difference but there's still still hope. So you will put these into the oven for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes you could try to use a toothpick and press it into the dough. And if you pull it out and it's clean, then they're done. If there's still dough on the toothpick, leave them in for like two or three more minutes and then test again. Wow, look at those. They are gorgeous. And I think it's time to take them out now. So, now that the cupcakes are out of the oven, we're gonna start with the magic. We take a bowl and we're going to cut off the top and try to hobble them out a little bit. We want to keep the top, so we put that aside. And we're trying to hollow it out a little bit. So it looks like this. It's kind of up to your preference how deep you want to make the hole. But don't dig it too deep because you don't want to reach the bottom. So, now that we have this hole inside, we take the chocolate cream of our choice. You see where it is going, don't you? We use a spoon and our nice chocolate cream and just simply put it into the hole we just created. Afterwards, we take the top and put it back on top again. It doesn't need to look too pretty because we don't need to do something about it anyways. If they are too flat on the top, you can cut into it angled and I cut off the rest. It's a pointy bit. So we're gonna do this with all of the cupcakes and with the dough we've got left over in the end. You can make something like cake pops or something else or you can just snag it. <laughs> oh, it tastes very chocolatey. It's very soft, it's so nice. I think they turned out very good. And even though they're this dark, they didn't burn. <laughs> when our cupcakes are hollowed out neatly and filled up with chocolate cream, we're trying to hide the cutouts we've made with some, guess it, extra chocolate. So therefore, we are melting some chocolate in a water bath. I forgot to film it earlier, but we also need a regular chocolate bar. For the decoration, we are going to take our chocolate bar. This one is very practical because it has these little cutout pieces, so we are going to use it as an orientation. Well, this is more difficult than I thought. Okay, well. This ain't gonna work. Oh no! Well, my master 
I put that in the fridge so it's a little harder. Perhaps I should just try to let it warm up a little so it, it's a little softer. But my plan was to cut out these triangles to put them onto the chocolate as ears. So I'm trying to let it heat up a little and then we'll see again. And this triangle I could use. This one I could also use. So I have a pair of ears already. Even though they look a little bit um, special. So pretty. I love melting chocolate. So satisfying. That's also the regular way how you melt butter, but I was too lazy, so the microwave had to do. But you shouldn't put chocolate like that onto the microwave because that won't work. So let's see if you can cut it a little smoother. Yeah, it works. Because I got branded chocolate, you can see the little brand on there. So I'm just gonna turn it around like that. I mean, they look a little special because they got like little imperfections, but I think that might look cute. I got these little sprinkles. These round green and blue ones. They are cookie flavored because I think they are a little better than the regular sprinkles which are made from sugar because they are too sweet in my opinion so I think the cookie ones would go a little better with the chocolate. I'm gonna take this little metal piece, poke it into the chocolate and put a stripe on like that. Isn't that cute? I guess you don't need to do these. I think they would also look cute without the eye stripes, the iris, or was it it? The pupil? I think it's the pupil but I think it's a cute idea. And now you take your cupcake, put the chocolate on top. Also you can choose whatever chocolate you like. I have milk chocolate, but you can also go with dark or white chocolate. And of course if you get white chocolate or dark chocolate for this, you should also get the ears in a different color. Or you can go multi carrot I think that would look very cute also. So take your chocolate triangles and you just stick them on. Like this. I think it looks very adorable. I mean, you could put chocolate on top now to hide the edges, but I don't think they are that obvious. But if you want to be very perfectionist, you could also put chocolate on top again. Put the eyes on. Like that. I think you could also use some nuts to make a nose. Like that. I think that's adorable. Look at it. Just let it cool down and the chocolate harden. Look at it. So pretty. Why hello there, it's voiceover time. As you can see here, I was cutting the triangles first so that I had the selection to mix and match them later on. So I could find a pair that would fit together like the nicest way possible. This is actually the only thing I wanted to say in the voiceover, but now I'm here and I'm here to stay. So slap on those ears onto the melted chocolate. Be careful, it's very hot, don't burn yourself. And yeah, go on with the eyes. I actually noticed that it's smarter to put the eyes on first and then the pupils, but well, it's a learning experience, isn't it? After this one, I'm showing you an example in which you can see what I mean. Last but not least, put on that little nose and yeah, there it is. This was it from Voice of Asayu, over and out. Here are tested what it looks like if you don't put the eye stripes on, but I actually think it's cuter with them. Thought I might look a little derpy without them. I don't know, <laughs> they just look like scared or like surprised. So I think I'm going to add the stripes as well. Just kidding, you can't get rid of me. But here you can see what I meant. Putting on the eyes first and then adding the stripes afterwards. Ta -da. So yeah, you do that with every little cupcake and then I think you're done. So we're all done. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? You can serve them your master using some chocolate fishes. And yeah, that's it. Could cut one open and look what they look inside because if you remember, there's a little surprise. Three times a charm. I'm back. I told you I'm here to stay. And this time I really have a function. So I kind of forgot to film an end card. So um, yeah, this is my like, this is my end card. Hello. <laughs> I'm very professional, I swear. So I hope you like this. Have fun baking. And you can watch me pose for a thumbnail because that's the only thing I have visually that comes close to an end card. So <laughs> 
yeah i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe you could possibly see more of that in the future because i had very much fun doing it and i have a few more ideas that i could do and yeah i'm planning on reviving this account again you will probably also soon see an update video we'll see thanks again very much for watching for staying through this and this is way too long thank you for watching thank you thank you goodbye please subscribe goodbye i'm not weird i swear goodbye it's it's just the voice over sayu the rest of hers isn't weird okay goodbye <laughs>